Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Cliff here. Hey, if you guys remember back last year, my friend Jeremy put together a toy drive and it was in combination with um, the Toys for Tots program. So my friend Jeremy from the Pet Boy Speed Shop, he put out a thing looking for help, trying to get as many bikes as possible to do like a bike drive slash also toy drive. And they have a car show every year called the East Coast um, Indoor Nationals and everybody was going to be dropping off everything at the show as a display. Um, if you guys remember right, last year was freaking amazing. And I think we ended up with, I don't know, 20, somewhere between 20 and 30 bikes at my house. And a bunch of my friends came over and we assembled them all night and just kind of hung out. We played the role of uh, Santa's Little Elves. So anyway, we're starting this off a little early this year. I'm hoping to get even more bikes this year go a little bit bigger if possible um, if if you can donate please consider it so I know this is a crazy year for a lot of people and with that it's gonna be more people in poverty it's gonna mean less people are, are, are likely to donate um, those things are huge factors and the reason for me that bikes are so important to kids is as a as somebody who had a lot of problems growing up and a lot of tough times that bike was my outlet it was my release it was my way of checking out of the world for a little bit and not be so relevant to my problems um so to be able to provide 20 to 30 bikes was amazing i think overall the toy drive raised close to 200. um ethan and i later met up with with jeremy and, and some of his guys and we were there firsthand donating the bikes giving it back to the community these are local community folks that we're giving them to which is also amazing and it was extremely touching giving that stuff back i mean you had people hugging you and crying and thank you we had nothing to give our kids now we have these awesome bikes and they're gonna love them and i don't think people always realize the value of that little bit of generosity to give a kid an outlet like a bicycle, a skateboard, an art kit, um, just any kind of toy really. It's the, the weight of that carries the rest of their life. You know, it's, it's a big deal. So if anybody out there is interested in doing anything, please let me know. I'll do all the work for you. Have the bikes sent to my house. Me and my friends will get together again and we'll have a night of assembling bikes like Santa's Little Elves. Um, if you just want to donate, I'm, I'm going to link my PayPal as well. Um, last year we raised a couple hundred dollars and I went out and I think we needed some helmets for the bike. So I got some helmets, we picked up some more scooters and I picked up a handful of art kits. Um, cause I feel like that's a great way for kids to express themselves in stressful times. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I greatly appreciate, I greatly appreciate anything you guys can do, can donate. Um, obviously, we'll flood everybody's timeline with updates as things come in, just like I did last year. Um, we, let's, let's see if we can do this, man. Let's see if we can take this 2020 crap show of a year for a lot of people and, and make it a, a, a positive ending. So I want to say in advance, I, I can't say from the heart enough, thank you for anybody who helps out. Thank you. That's what the hell awesome looks like. This is what the albums actually look like in real life. Thank you very much. I just want to say thank you one last time because you know, I just put, put something out there in the world and said, hey man, you know, we're trying to get some bikes together for my friend Jeremy's um, Toys for Tots drive. And uh, bikes to me are important because I feel like they bring salvation and normalcy and they help kids uh, blow off steam, get away for a little bit, do, you know, do a lot of important things in life where definitely a kid who's in a tough spot, that, that, that bike can be salvation. So we're loading them up and it's got my helper here. But, um, 
I just want to say thank you. You know, it's we live in a time where it's easy to get on Facebook and think everything's negative and everybody's bad and you know things like that. And it's it's, it's pretty damn refreshing to uh, be surrounded by awesome people. Check this out. Pretty freaking awesome. Plus, uh, Tommy from Signature Finishes also ordered even more helmets, um, some wagons, and something else I can't remember. But uh, people went crazy. It's a uh, it's a really blessed feeling, honestly. It really is. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, thank you, thank you, to everybody. Um, just, just thank you. I, 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 it's very rare that I'm at loss for words, but I'm getting to that point right now because it's just, I don't know. It, it sometimes, you know, I, yeah, I was that kid growing up where my bike was my salvation. It got me away from things for a little bit. It, it helped me clear my head. It, it helped me feel okay. And I know the value. I know the value in those things right now. So you know, a simple gift like this could be something that changes somebody's life. It, it sounds cheesy to say it like that, but it's true. Um, it's just thank you. Thank you.